Greetings, greetings, and peace, everyone. Welcome back to Papa's Remedy Garden. Um, today's Body Conscious Sunday uh, will be about relaxation. It's reaching out to those who are TBI survivors, giving you some techniques to help you to relax. Um, I just thought about it. And I said, you know what? I think this would be a perfect time to do that. You see, what's going on now is we are about to enter what they say round two, right? Round two. And sometimes the anticipation of that can cause a very uh, anxious, you know, anxious uh, effect in our bodies. And I have learned different techniques to help me to relax. And um, it's very important to use the techniques um, whenever you can. And um, I've learned this from therapists, counselors that I've had post car accident. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I have found it very helpful because just listening to the news can be triggering for me sometimes. Um, what else? <laughs> I'll give you an example. With anxiety, you don't know when it's going to flare up. At least I, I, I don't. I don't really know. Um, last week, um, I was listening to my partner talk about talk to a family member about uh, her uncle passing away, and that caused me to almost have to go to the hospital. And I'll explain. So. I can hear the conversation up front. I'm in the back and I'm minding my own business, doing whatever, stretching. Sometimes I like to massage my arms and my legs just to help me to relax. So I'm there in the back, relaxing. Um, and I don't know what happened, but something came over me and I felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, I was cold and I was hot and I, I started pacing the floor. I was sensitive to any type of noise. I couldn't even listen to her voice. Nobody talking in the house. I didn't want to hear because it was too overstimulating for me. So I had to go get my earbuds and... I wish I had them with me, but I had to go get my earbuds, put the earbuds in my ear, their noise cancellator ear, earbuds, put those earbuds in my ear, right? And try to calm myself down. And I was just trying to ground myself, put my, you know, feet on the wood floor. I was really thinking like, what can I do? And I had to bring it all in and go back to what I was taught. OK, go back to what I was taught and what I was taught with these two techniques. Well, I was taught more than these two, but I'm going to share the two techniques with you that I had to use in that moment. To help calm me, did it happen instantly? No, <laughs> I wish, but it did help. OK, so let's talk about relaxation here. Um, let's do these things to help us to relax. That's what I wanted to say. OK, so the first one is relaxing through breathing. It's a deep breathing exercise that I learned where you inhale for eight seconds, hold it for five, and then you exhale through your mouth for eight seconds. So inhaling through your nose with your mouth shut, right? So what I was doing was I was inhaling through my nose. My mouth was shut and I was inhaling through my nose, right? I inhaled for eight seconds. I counted in my mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? I held it for five seconds, right? Right, held it for five seconds. And then I exhaled for eight. And I exhaled through my mouth. And then when I exhaled, my stomach flattened. So when you inhale, your stomach should expand. When you exhale, your stomach should flatten. Okay, again, inhaling 
eight seconds, stomach expanding. You hold it for five and then you exhale. And when you exhale, your stomach is what? Flattening. Okay, so let's do that. It's going to be a brief video. It should be fun. Like, ready? Inhaling. I want you to really focus in on your breath. I want you to imagine when you're inhaling, the oxygen is flowing into your brain, going down through your body, right? Holding, right? And then when you exhale, I want you to exhale out all of the tension. Okay, just let it go. All right, we'll do that one more time. Inhaling, eight seconds. There you go. So that's one thing that I have learned. So that breathing technique is good. Get that oxygen flowing to your brain. Get it going to into your muscle tissues and relax. All right. It's very important. Okay. Um, second one is called uh, paired. Let me make sure I got it right. Paired muscle relaxation. So when I first saw this, I thought, what is this going to do? But it actually works. So um you're going to tighten up a certain body part or a muscle and you're going to tighten it up and then you're going to um hold that let's say it's your hands so you would take your hands if you want to follow you can you take your hands and you when you tighten your hands and make a fist what you're going to do is hold your breath too right And then when you exhale, you just, just let it fall out. So you can hold the, the, um, the, the, the tension wherever it's at. I don't care if it's in your eyes, if it's your forehead, if it's your mouth. You want to hold it maybe for 10 seconds. And then when you release, you want to exhale and just let it all out. Okay? So let's do the hands again. Make a tight fist. Right? So again, inhale. So let's do maybe another muscle group. So maybe you want to tense up your, your back. Let's say we're going to tense up the back. So you inhale some and then you hold it 10 seconds and then exhale when you release. Do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, so if you can only hold eight seconds, five seconds, listen to your body. Okay? Listen to your body. And whatever you can do, you do it. And then you can increase over time. But guys, that's the two techniques that I've learned. Just wanted to share with you. We're going into another round two learn to relax um these are just two different uh techniques i've learned um there's more but i just wanted to break down two of them for you and i hope you enjoyed this until next time guys love your body take care of your body remember the answers are in the earth okay go within breathe and we'll be just fine peace <laughs>